help. Alright, so on this video, hopefully you can hear me. But yeah, we about to break down some shit that's going on. Just check me out. Just rock on me. Wish I had my little book. I took notes on so I could stay cool, but I think I got this by now. So let's get it. Story list for the show. Two unusual headlines caught our attention. Two very interesting yet frightening stories. The first one was about self. Alright, so this is um is about the Xenobots and how it ties down to the pandemic and the 5G and transhumanism, uh, cytogenetics, uh, metaphysics, biology, uh, anatomy, etc. So let's get into it. Replicating robots. Robots that can reproduce, create copies of themselves, make babies like humans do. Robots. The second story was about a tech firm which is offering money to people to have their faces imprinted on robots to create what they call robots with human faces. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions or question the intention of the scientists involved, but it's hard to not ask this question. Have these people never read science fiction? They're creating robots that can multiply oh and machines that will look like us. What could possibly go wrong? And that's the question we'll try to answer tonight because they've not been able to answer it themselves. As we decode the many dangers involved with such experiments and understand the many adverse consequences they can lead to. <clears throat> we'll begin with the reproductive robots. They've been nurtured in the United States. Scientists have created robots that can produce an offspring. They're calling them xenobots. Xenobots, right? This is what they look like tiny organisms that you see these spherical clumps they're xenobots they grow into that and they're not made of metal or plastic they've been created from biological tissues which essentially makes them fetuses robots robots that can move on their own fetuses is uh it's the t-cell really this is the t-cell virus right because once they get attached Really, it's the animal fetuses that got down and make that shit got down mutate into a whole other virus while it's in the sun. Because all your viruses come from animals, which produce mucus inside of your body if you're consuming it, which allows it to, uh, for your cells to grow um, properly. So, when you look at the xenobots right here, this is what they're talking about. So, it can be transferred through a lipoprotein. Heal on the road. Because it's small enough to be inserted through a shot. Now, of course, reproduce on their own. How exactly were they created? By assembling stem cells from embryos into synthetic life forms. Allow me to explain. I know it sounds complicated. In order to design these xenobots, scientists first created random 3D designs on a supercomputer, like the one that you see. Simulated blocks of skin and heart cells that can move on their own. These blocks, configurations, were then assigned tasks through an algorithm. What kind of tasks? Like walking in a certain direction, basic things. The most promising con con configurations here, the ones that perform the tasks well, were then taken to a lab to be injected with life. Life taken from African clawed frogs. These toads that you see. <clears throat> That's just one of the cells that they use. The species is found in sub Saharan Africa. It can regenerate its skin. Well, really, so yeah, mixed with did. the fetuses with different animals. It's pretty Take much how they. Cells from dealing with the uh, animals, they mixed up with different fetuses. It goes back to um, how they concocted their race, well, how Yaku concocted his race of people. Feel me? And tried to push us to serve them, serve him with them, everything, the religion, really be going back to Zeus when you're not supposed to give, I mean, praise anything outside of you other than the ones that's uplifting you or your people, I mean, and the planet and nature from above and below. So like, 
when that mix up, it allows it to got down, duplicate, and mutate. So get back to what I'm saying, we're going to break down the etymology of these words because the reason they use this with in war with goddamn animals, right? So that was the first test. They already used the frequency test on this already because this been happening low key like every 10 years. But right now it's kind of stronger. I remember the last... 10 years ago, 2012, they had a little heat wave. I was in Maryland, and shit was down there close to 120 degrees. But now that I'm hit, it probably was just the UV index, which it is right now. It's really 77 degrees with probably a higher UV, UV index than normal. The reason why they got all these clouds behind me, but they break through in a second. Getting back to what I was saying, though, Xenobots, right? These words that they give, these scientist words, because you gotta think, these scientists is the ones that's fucking you up. And, like, really, medicine comes from scientists. You feel me? Because it's chemistry. You feel me? So, boom. So, these words be having meanings, but in English, you have to break them down. Like, say X means something, right? Z X E means something, or Z E means something. At that time, they use X's and Z's for the same shit. Damn there. It's just that X was the feminine version of it. So, Xeno is a word. Box is a word. So, Xeno. Alright, we about, to, we about to break into it. Okay, so the lipoprotein. Y'all can go look up that video. Shout out to Gravity the News. I could go look up. I could look up that video. Go check them out. Feel me? But this is what I'm saying. The lipoprotein it comes through a zetia, right? Zet, zet, zeta or zoda is uh, energy, or what they say, star constellation. So boom, but it's energy, because it's a cycle of energy, right? So boom, zetia, right? means cholesterol medication so for enable for that fake ass anybody to reproduce itself you have to use a cholesterol medication which they pretty much do and all like high blood pressure shit like that whoop -de -whoop. they even said with the backs you with the uh the juice that you can't take blood thinners with it why because cholesterol medication blocks your sodium channels, right? Your sodium channels consist of your blood, your plasma, and your melanin, right? Feel me, your, absor your absorption. So they know the magnetic field broke. So really, they didn't have to keep you in the lab after they got down, boom, you. All they had to do was throw you back up under this jump because your cells grew from that pretty much a healthy ass person mostly be outside more than they be inside feel me so like your cells are literally tripling up they are already triple at a nine it's had a triple effect it was doing that shit at a six so it's really higher than a nine some places they had a fucking 20 in the u.s so ain't no telling i need to get a uv reader I mean, did y'all see that sign? It ain't blocking me when I'm outside, but let's get back to it. So, Zeta Bay, actually, Eze, comes from the tribe Izo in Nigeria. That's where they stole it from. Or maybe Nigeria helped them. I'm not going to speak on that like that. But I'm going to just say that's where they got it from because I know that's the etymology of the word. It comes from the Izo tribe. Right, so boom. But anyways, with this cholesterol medication, they have another one that they took from Haiti. The, uh, the one of the zombie ingredients is called tetra, tetraoxidant. That shit is in the puffer fish, which is found in China the most. And them motherfuckers be eating it, so uh, to get divinity or some shit. But most of them niggas be dying. So that's really why they have a high production of that shit in China 
because they already got a lot of fishing mines over there. Niggas be casting nets a lot over there and shit. So he was getting all that. So boom, but there's other bay close up your sodium channels. So when it close up your sodium channels, your your antibodies and your body can't flow to your cell the way it needs to, to your DNA cells, to your T cells and all. All it takes is one T cell to connect to your carbon and hydrogen link. For real. So don't. That means why it's got your shit blocked up, it's allowing something else to move. So while that shit moving, it's got them making your antibodies confused while they're trying to get through. And most likely it's harder for them to get through because they spike the protein. They spike the protein because you intake a lot of protein. The protein they serve you not even real protein. Your real protein come from the ground. So if they're not telling you to eat some fruit or some fucking vegetables, injecting you with some fucking herbs, then they're not injecting you with what you need to do. Because really you supposed to have blood flow. So your blood flow can and clear out the mucus out your lymphatic system. If not, it builds up and then it grows the cells improperly. And that's what cancer cells come from. Like, that's why it's imperative you on a right diet because your cells are literally duplicating in a way that you've never seen. Like, we're literally mutating. Really, mutation, a gain of a cell and a loss of a cell is a mutation. So this cholesterol medicine that people be taking, especially old people, not even this is, but this is a lipoprotein as in a PC K9 PC K9 see PC SK9 protein right they try to use it it's a new era of lip lipid lowering therapy well why are they using the, the new era right because they're using the AI because that can hook up to their system, right? That's where the word bot comes from. And I'm gonna show you about a micron too. So bot, right, means an autonomous program on the internet or another network that can interact with systems or users. But the system is the 5G, cause they need that shit about half a mile to a mile apart from each other everywhere. So that shit can work. Because it's, it's motherfuckers walking and shit, they got the shit in the trees, in the front stores, fucking, and water meters, and niggas' apartments, and houses, and shit, like, they really using all the elements to use power just to generate this 5G shit, because they know shit, like, they even got 6G in China, you feel me, because they, they trying to harness energy and shit, so boom, so the bot, right, the first definition of bot is an autonomous program on the internet or another network that can interact with a system or users. So, is Xenobots is interacting with your system, your nervous system, your cells, which is dealing with uh, your communication and your signal, and then that deals with your frequency that you're in, you're intaking and giving out. So, I mean, it gets deep. Right, because really it's not replacing yourselves, it's really mutating you into something else. Graphene oxide, like it's into a blue blood, pretty much. So, look, bot, right? I'm only bringing up bot and cron. Because cron is the same thing. Cron comes from omicron. Omi means a n, right? That's what they said. Omi means a n plus being a constellation, right? So, omi means a n. A-N is the uh, suffix for the word Zayn. It's on a, a Hebrew list. That's where the word came from. But really, the Hebrew list and the Greek list, they was talking about stars because they was looking up at the heavens from what they said in their fucking Bible. So when they was looking up, they described that shit. But if you peep, it goes one through nine. Then it goes to the tens place. Then from the tens, oh, it goes to the tens place, and then from the tens place, it goes to the hundreds place. From the hundreds place, like it's 100, 200, all the way to 900, then it goes to the thousand place. It's only one through nine. So when it goes to an extra level, it's going to a higher interval. You feel me? So 
it's levels to this shit. It's three, six, nine energy, but it always happened four times too. The fourth time, really, is uh for the balance because we low key it's in a pie, but the pie is separated with a cross. What the cross at a tilt becomes an X, so it's up is an X, right? So that being part of the fifth element and your heart being part of the fifth element you gotta do four times for all the four elements so the 369 energy hits the 12 but 12 represents 3 because it's only numbers 1 through 9 so it's numerology so 12 1 plus 2 equals 3 you feel me 1 plus 3 equals 4 right that's why that 13 go back to satan or y'all cool with them. But let's get back. So my crown, right? But my crown, crown, crown means the command line utility as a job scheduler on a Unix-like oper operating system. Users who set up and maintain software environments use cron to schedule jobs, also known as cron jobs, to run periodically at a fixed time, dates, or intervals. So fixed time, dates, and frequencies. <laughs> but look, that says how bot and crown, crown is the same thing. I told you, oh, my crown is a, but a and is the suffix of zayn, and the z is an element. So we're gonna break down this word all the way. This is really Zeno about. But Zena is the feminine aspect, which ties back to why they do social media and do all this surveillance with birds and all types of shit that be all in the woods to keep the secrets and all types of shit. Xenia ties back to it because it was the Greeks, right? They were trying to take over us. So the Greeks, right? They got down, switched it up and shit. So, Z, right, is zirconium. <clears throat> the mass number A equals Z plus N. Atomic number equals number of protons, Z. N equals neutral number. Chemical uh, what element is Z? Zirconia, right? Alright, so Z also on the word is Z E. But remember this word zirconia. Tell me this is gonna make sense. It's the word play. Cause the Z is for the D and U. But the D in Greek, because you, you, we use our English, so we gotta use Greek, Spanish, and uh, well, Latin, and Hebrew. So, and Phoenician, because that's where they all co copy most of that shit from, in a comedic text. So, boom, the zirconium, right? The Z I as an element, I think, is silicone. But Z atomic number is 11. All right. So zirconia, right? But what is what is your zen? What is the ZE? Let's see what ZE is. What is ZE? What's a ZE? Xenon is a colorless, odorless unreactive gas which liquefies at 11.7 degrees 161.4 k it is found in earth's crust at a concentration of 2 ppt making it a 83rd most abundant element and it's found in the atmosphere at a concentration of xenon right 
Z I. That's not even in that shit. Let's go to Zenar. It is used in photographic flash lamps, stroboscopic lamps, high intensity arc lamps for motion picture projection, and high pressure arc lamps to, product, to project ultraviolet light solar simulators. Right? That's all like CERN, right? I'm just learning this while I'm reading it. Right? That sound like CERN. So the ultra light and shit, that's an imitation of the sun. They use this technology as a limitation of nature. So that's why I said the Z or the the Zeno. The Zeno means gift of Zeus, but I'ma show you. And we know who Zeus is. So let's get back to that um the ultraviolet light, right? So the sun, you see, it's ultraviolet light. When the UV is pat like UVC is hitting the ground. Then it's high intensity of plasma hitting you. So that's x-rays. Reason why I said they didn't need you in a fucking lab. They got niggas in a drive through getting a fucking shot and taking tests. You feel me? Hey, they don't need you to come in that motherfucker. All they need you is to do is to jab, go outside and live life like how you think it's going to be regular. The whole time your cells is mutating, bro. But that's why in the Bible times they say you were supposed to fast. Because the same shit was going on. That's why at the same time, you look at the past times, you can really time is in reverse, time is fake. It's measurements and energy cycles. And the energy cycles we go through is 3693 every day for all through. But there's levels to this shit. We're at that level. We're rising really quick in that bitch. When it gets to the ninth level, nigga, it's going to blow around like 3600 hertz. It's going to blow. I can teach you the 369 show, a show of example of how that shit works. But we're going to get into that. Because me, I'm learning about this shit. So, boom. I wonder if Zenon and... So, the reason niggas get sick, right? It's this. Hold on. Let me get back to what I was saying. So, the Z, right? The Zeno. What is Zeno? Zeno. Means gift of Zeus. Gift of Zeus. The Zeus was Jesus, right? Because in Spanish, it say, hey, Zeus, right? Hey, Zeus. Hey means the, Zeus means God. Zeus was thinking he was God. If you read Greek mythology, you know who the fuck Zeus was. And if you believe in the Bible, but don't believe in Greek mythology, then you don't believe in the Bible because it's Greek mythology all through that bitch. So you just don't believe in shit. You're just doing shit for the point, of, for no fucking reason. So back to what I'm just saying. Zeno is the gift of Zeus. Him and his sister tried to goddamn kill Kronos with an acid. Y'all can look up that story and shit. That's when Xenia comes in, right? Because we, we saw what Zenon was as an element in Z-E, but it's the same thing, just in different forms. They In English, they make more words. That's what Spanish did for me. They make more words out of shit. All right, so boom. Okay, so, uh, so, I said the Z, right, is because it deal, is dealing with your Zen, your natural connection. They know this heat is going to activate narrow melanated beings. The more it heats up, the more the DNA is going to activate, especially if they're at a, at a balanced diet. If not, they're going to start getting the effects of some other shit but it is what it is because a lot of people really just not listening so Zen right deals with your connection to uh, to nature
Dang, that looks like a dragon like. Another word for Zen is reflection, introspection. It's not showing the definition I wanted, but most people that know about Zen. It's like, you know how we be trying to connect to above and below in meditation. It's trans is transcendental meditation going on, ascending meditation going on as you sleep. But look, all right, so the core of Zen is a personal relationship with your own mind and a higher undefined entity outside of yourself. Being Zen is essential. So our ancestors are higher beings is up there. I mean, there's other beings that are against you too, but you have to know yourself to know who to decipher from. Decipher from with your own discernment. Because if you really seeing shit, it's like that. But me, I forget sometimes, but it worked for me. But I know once I unlocked my shit and I got a hard space, I didn't really have problems. I was just in the learning stage. And I think I was just meeting different beings and it's like spirit shit. Like, I can't really remember, but I remember. But anyways, the Zen is like how you naturally connect to nature. And most of us naturally connect to nature. That's what the practice of doing all that meditation, all that extra stuff came from. The extra stuff you need to be doing if you're trying to tap in. So boom. That's why I said the D is for the Z. Right? Because pause on what I'm about to say, but this is the, the, the capital D, right? <clears throat> the capital D is a Greek word for diaphoric difference. Right? The word for notation of derivatives and differentials will also describe change in an international amounts. That's talking about the sun CMEs going north west south east different ways at all times like you look at the trees they're never blowing at one never blowing at one shit so like it just be like yeah so the delta represents the pyramid right but in reality right the sun is the delta because another word for delta is UV ultraviolet so Communication, radio communication, which M flares do, and that comes from the sun. Alright, so they have, there's a saying saying that's so above and so below. So you see a pyramid, most pyramids you see or you see on pictures, they're pointing up, but it's below from what's up. So boom, what's coming down, which activates the pyramids that's down and implanted whole time there's another pyramid upside down from that pyramid right but really the plasma because it's plasma in the ground so plus the parallel below so like the pyramid down is still a uh, a delta the delta symbol is the pyramid down right that's why the chakra system is going down because it's hitting your ass but whole time you a goddamn pyramid so you're a walking organ just like the pyramid is an organ that's why we're able to build it we didn't use we use what they call time to build it because like that's why the number nine is sacred and like shit like that you use how many seconds in a day, whoop de woo, how many hours in a day, how many minutes in a day, and just add all that shit up. It'll give you the measurements, right? It'll give you the measurements you need to build a pyramid, and at the same time, it will help you correlate to the way 
the earth spins on its axis on a tilt. So boom. So wow, this shit is happening. Delta, right? It also stands for uh, carbo travailing bond, right? It's called heterolysis for the, the negative way of getting it. The positive way of getting it to reproduce your cells and to get your shit up is being in the sun, sun gazing, eating the proper diet, not getting the vaccine, and then doing the same shit. Because even when they got them give you that cholesterol shit or whatever, they tell you to eat good, but most people don't. They just pop the fucking pill and get good. Because the thing is, with lysis, lysis is called pathological blood destruction. Right? It's called pathological blood destruction. This disintegration of a cell by rupture of a cell wall or membrane. Listen to pronunciation. Lysis. In biology, lysis refers to the breakdown of a cell caused by damage to its plasma outer membrane. It can cause by chemical and physical physical means, for example, strong detergents or high energy sound waves, or by infection with a strain virus called live cells. In this way, LDH release an indicator of cell lysis. Remember this word. Remember this whole shit. Because really, they highlight the shit in there. That's the important shit. And if we was to put all these shits into one message, all the highlighted words, it would make a whole fucking paragraph telling you what the fuck you're looking for. That's why in school they said to pay attention to that shit. Feel me? So, boom. Pay attention to that shit. Look, let's read the first one. What does lysine mean? I said it's pathological blood destruction. Right? So, boom. Because it deals metaphysics, and the metaphysics body deals with biology, chemistry, pathology. Pathology deals with your blood cells and the way you think, and dealing with your cells and shit, and goddamn anatomy. So, <clears throat> so let's read it. All right, so it says, lysis in biology. Lysis refers to the breakdown of a cell caused by damage to its plasma, out of membrane. It can cause by chemical or physical means. It can be caused by chemical or physical means. For example, strong detergents, which is like boron, which is what they use in the clouds now with the graphene and shit, and calcium carbonate. The detergents or high energy sound waves. The high energy sound waves is coming from the sun. Even if you you're gonna hear it as a, like a ringing in your ear because it's a high frequency of hertz that you're not really usually listening to. Niggas, you listen to 440 mostly, which is a root chakra, and then it's not even at tune with your root. It's off tune, so it throws niggas off because it's off tune, which makes it like witchcraft. But that's something they know to go against you because it's indigenous people this is our planet that's walking around here if they was on tune they would be in power so now that that's being said things is going back on tune because remember the delta is the sun b117 when they came out with that shit that shit meant energy cycle and gematria b117 meant energy cycle and gematria so and then delta means denoting a new energy, denoting a new energy cycle. That's what made me even put energy cycle to get B117. So boom, denoting a new energy cycle, we're at a higher UV, we're becoming a tri-solar system. So now we're like in another solar system and conjoining. That's what the golden age is about because the golden age gets energy from this solar system that solar system and then it hits us 100 percent 
meaning when it hits us, niggas gonna activate on some like Dragon Ball Z, X Men type shit because our frequency went up. But for people who can't, they're just gonna uh, what's that shit called? Something combustion. So, but look. But the thing is, when it's known a new energy cycle, it's a new cell cycle too, because your cells connects to the sun. So now, your cells is at a, 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 a faster rate. Reason they use CERN to interfere so it can speed up their process because some of that shit for some people actually might be getting rid of it. But there's a lot of people saying that you can't. But me understanding the purifying of the body is detoxing the whole body from the gut with all its chakras and its brain to the to the to the eye to the face to the, to the throat chakra to the heart chakra to your solar to your sacral to your root and down because you being an oracle or a pyramid your feet is the base your arms is the vortex or your head is the vortex these are like your satellites and these are your receivers you feel me so it's like it works up and down you feel me like it cycles that's what the pyramid is also about too it cycles that's why in the Bermuda it spins because it's a fucking pyramid under that bitch that's making it cycle and recycle you feel me keep going back and round and round and round and round because that pyramid dealt with the way the axis spent round and round and round and round. You feel me? That's what the pyramids were built for, to connect. They get the energies to, to the stars, so they're using CERN like a fucking pyramid. So really, the pyramids is what CERN is connecting with, trying to... Ah, oh, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. All right, so the pyramids is what CERN is imitating, but the pyramids also connected to the light. When they had the, the tip on the vortex, it was copper or gold. It, gener- it helped absorb the energy to go into the material they use for it. And then it, since it connects, that's part of Earth. The rocks and stuff. Rock is part of earth and plasma. Because all the four elements, it's five elements, right? They say, but all the, the, like, water, wind, fire, and earth, all four of those deals with plasma, right? So, say is four alternates three states of matter and two parallels for each one so as that is it's going to be different so that's like how Sirius is really a portal but it's a portal to Sirius A B C and X whole time that's the different elements right so, like, Rashad Jamal, Isis, somebody said, was talking about Sirius A or B or something like that. We got, um, how, we're talking about where dolphins and whales come from. And we were saying a couple Sirius B, I think, or C, yeah, Sirius B or C. So it was like, then they came here because we promised them a home, right? I don't know if anybody heard that story before, but that's the only other person I heard talk about it. So, that being said, while this is new denoting energy is breaking down the cell and it's either going to duplicate in threes and more trinities because these cells work in trinities when they connect, right? But the amino acids that you need to be consuming is from your fruits and vegetables, really the fruits because it also has that acid to get rid of the bad acid. Like, for example, if you eat a lot of fruit, you might see your teeth clean up without brushing your teeth. It removes that plaque, right? Because that plaque from your teeth and from your stomach 
it turns into something called lactic acid, which gets trapped in your muscles. And when that gets trapped in your muscles, it becomes soreness and tightness and shit like that because your blood can't goddamn flow through. So, breaking down the sound of all the water is. So, let's get back to lysis. Lysis is pathological blood destruction. So, lysis says. Refers to the breakdown of a cell caused by damage to its plasma outer membrane. So that's going to be happening from cells getting eliminated and from eukaryotic cells, right? I believe prokaryotic cells is the natural cell. I might not be saying that right. So it's getting rid of all the eukaryotic cells, anything unnatural to this planet. So it's gonna cause damage to a lot of people that's not indigenous to this planet, or really, a lot of them, some of them may make it if they on the same frequency of the planet, but the way to get on the same frequency of the planet is to balance your body and your mind mentally. Mentally and physically creates a aura of light. So, and when you can use your intuition, that's your school. That's what they got, the intuition, the tuition. You don't got to pay for a tuition. That's what I'm saying. We're going to break this shit down. And really, I'm not even breaking it down how I wanted to, because they be changing definitions. But we're going to get it. So look, the breakdown of the cells is caused by damage to that. All right, so we're going to type in heterolysis. It's really one word. All right, so... In chemistry, heterolysis or heterolytic fission is a process of cleaving and breaking a covalent bond where one previously species take both original bonding bonding electrons from the other species, takes both bonding electrons from the other species during the heterolytic bond cleavage of a neutral molecule Acation in that anion will be generated. So what is acation in that anion? Before we move forward, what is that? What is that shit? Acation is our positively charged ions, atoms, or groups of atoms that have more protons than electrons due to having lost one or more electrons. Anions are negatively charged ions, meaning they have more electrons than protons due to gain, due to having gained one or more electrons. So that goes back to the T cells. Acacia has more protons than electrons, giving it a net positive charge. For acacia to form, one or more electrons must be lost. Right? So, boom, that's what KR and anions are. I'm trying to find, I might have to go on here. Alright, so yeah, this is actually, I think, the right thing. Alright, so boom, let's start at the top. In chemistry, heterolysis, we already said lysis is pathological blood destruction. So boom, in chemistry, heterolysis and heterolytic fission comes from Greek heteros, meaning different, or loosis, loosening, is the process of breaking a covalent or cleaving a covalent bond where one previously bonded species takes both original bonding electrons where one previously bonded species take both original bonding electrons from the other species. During this heterolytic bond cleavage of a neutral molecule, a casein and an anion will be generated. I don't know if I'm saying that shit. An anion will be generated. Most commonly, the more electronegative atom keeps the pair of the electrons becoming Ionic, anionic, 
Wow, the more electro positive Adam becomes Cation. Right. Let me see if I can find what I was talking about. The, the energy requires to break the bond is called a heterolytic bond dissociation energy, which is similar but not equivalent. The homolytic bond dissociation energy commonly used to represent the energy value of a bond. One of the examples of the differences in the energies is the energy required to break a HH bond. The discovery and categorization of a heterolytic bond fission was clearly dependent on the discovery and categorization of chemical bond. So this shit not showing what I need y'all to see. I can't even find my book. Destruction by an outside agent, specifically solution by license or enzymes from another source. Decomposition of a compound into oppositely charged particles or ion compared homolysis, other words from heterolysis and heterolytic. So we're going to look up homolysis because maybe in a homolysis it talks about it. Because what I found, it showed the reactance of it, and it was light, which is the UV, and and the uh, um heat. Fuck. 